Hello. G'day guys. Welcome back. Well, welcome, or you know what? I'm stoked to have you here either way. Today, we're going to uh, dive right into Lightroom. We're just going to blast through it, but we're going to do Golden Hour, Blue Hour, and Astro. I'm basically going to take you through my workflow for each of those. Um, super quick. In future episodes, I'm going to dive much deeper into the actual specifics of like what things I'm using and what I'm doing. But for now, we're just going to like, we're just going to, just going to mob through this. i put that out of the way so that I don't just like break it when I'm flicking, you know, doing things. Yeah, enough of that. Alrighty then. Let's get into what you are actually here for. All right, start with this one. I'm gonna go through and remove chromic aberration and lens profile corrections. Let's just, let's just get that out of the way really quickly. I pretty much do that with every photo. Uh, first thing I do, I'm gonna go right back up at the top. What are, we, what are we gonna do here? I'm just gonna bring that contrast up, contrast up just a touch, just to see what's going on. And then from there, I'm gonna adjust the blacks first. So I'm gonna hit Option or Alt, and then I'm gonna slide and see where the blacks are. You'll see that screen just kinda making weird things. I want it to, you just, just show up the blacks there. I'm gonna slide that until we find the blacks. Uh, and then I'm gonna do the whites as well. Just kinda wanna blow out the background. From there, I'm gonna grab the shadows, bring that up to bring up the little detail in the mountains. Just a little bit, I don't wanna like, I don't wanna crush it too much. But the highlights I'm gonna bring way down because I can see that there's like some detail in the sky there that I kinda wanna really draw out. From there, I'm gonna cruise down a little bit, drop the clarity and make it kinda a bit softer and the texture just just up a little bit just to make it a little bit crispy all right i'm going to leave the vibrance and saturation just for a little bit um from there we are going to affect just the highlights i just want just the really bright bits i'm just going to bring that right up and the shadow is going to bring those right down and in the middle i'm going to bring the darks up just a touch now it still looks pretty average at this point but we'll get there. I'm just gonna show you what I do with sunrises. I'll bring this up a touch. All right, sharpening, just real quick. Sharpen up a little bit. Masking, I'm gonna hit Alt or Option, and it's gonna show what part of the image I'm actually sharpening. Now I wanna bring that up just enough so that, you know, the sky and things like that aren't being affected at all. I've got a good base to work with. I'm gonna hit M. I wanna affect that sky, so I'm gonna bring that down a touch. Dehaze up a little bit. Well, that's a bit. It's a bit harsh. Let's make it a little bit softer there. And I'm gonna bring these highlights down again. Contrast up a touch. And just kind of filter it out a bit there. That's looking. That's looking all right. That's looking all right. I'm gonna do it again. Same thing, but I'm gonna do it on this sheet of ice down the bottom. I want that to just stand out just a little bit. So I'm gonna bring that texture up. Bring those highlights back up. And it keeps doing that. There, I'm going to hit K, which brings me to the brush tool. And I'm gonna make this middle area just, just pop. And I'm gonna do that with a bit of clarity. Boost those highlights right up. Bring that up a touch. That's done. From there, we're gonna go back and retweak everything just a little bit. So bring the blacks down a touch. Tr contrast up just a little bit. It's giving this kind of like, this kind of blue, I'm just gonna, Looking better. There we go. It's looking a little warmer. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 Hit F and just have a look. See what it looks like. Full screen. All right. I can't. I. I really like that. It's. It's. It's punchy, but it's. It's subtle. It's soft. It's not just like over the top, unrealistic. Actually, let's go a side by side. Hit, hit Y. It'll bring up a side by side. So I've got the before on that side, the after on that side. It's just, just clean, just a clean, nice image that um, it pops, but it's it's not like overly edited, over the top. It's just, yeah, it just works. Let's move on to Blue Hour. This is one of my favorite times to shoot. I love it. All right, again, I'm gonna bring those highlights down, which isn't a lot, there's just a little section there. I'm gonna bring that exposure up, because I'm gonna We'll just, we'll just start with that. Bring that up a touch. Shadows up just a little bit. Option, 
let's see where those blacks are. I want the blacks to actually, they're way down. I want those blacks to actually be black. All right. From there, we are going to, yeah, actually, I, that, I like that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use this slider. I'm gonna use a brush to essentially do that. Bring it up a touch. Lights up a little bit. And then let's affect the blacks. So I use these sliders and it affects, it shows you just what part of like what level of the blacks you're actually affecting. So I'm going to bring that right down because I just want the blacks, just the blacks to be affected there. Sharpening up a touch. Again, I'm going to make sure that sky isn't being sharpened or the snow isn't being sharpened at the bottom. Just want the, like, I just want the features of the image to stand out. So those bits are the only bits in this I'm going to sharpen. All right, from there, M, let's darken. Let's, let's just like darken the, the bottom, darken the sky. Let's really make that middle ground really stand out. Drop that right down. I'm going to bring that up a bit so it blends better. I'm going to do that again with the sky. Also, double click effect and it'll just reset it to zero. Bring that down a touch. Bring that out as well so that the sky is just like super silky. Okay, and I'm going to bring up the brushes again and I'm going to just affect this mountain range here. So, just going to bring that up just a little bit there. Oh, that's it's looking good. It's two fingers, scroll up to make it bigger. And I'm just going to, there we go, there we go. Now we're looking, now we're getting somewhere. Let's so zoom right in and see how that is looking. Oh yeah, my boy Charlie out there. That was a a wild afternoon. It was like negative 20 though, so it was brutal. We ended up sleeping on the parkway that night and just like was up all night shooting Astro. Yeah, okay, let's go. Let's, let's move on. That I think is pretty much I think that's I think that's there. Alright. Next up, let's do Astro. Alright, this is a shot that I took was maybe like two, two or three nights ago. Beautiful night out, good friends, great times. All right, first up with, with Astro, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sharpen the sky and then I'm gonna hit option again, mask it, and I'm just gonna, I just want like the stars and the feature. So I'm gonna pretty much mask off the entire image. You can really pick what you're actually sharpening. Um, then I'm gonna scroll right at the top. I'm gonna bring the exposure up just a bit, just so we can see what we're working with. And the contrast up just a touch. Now I'm going to bring the highlights down. So this is this is different than the um, than the whites we're going to affect later. And bring those down. It kind of just brings that noise pollution in the sky back down. And the shadows up just a touch. I don't want to like I don't want to create noise in in the shadows. So I'm just going to just just a little bit. We're going to tweak we're going to tweak that later. For Astro, I like to bring the clarity down a little bit. It kind of softens the image. It makes it look more like ethereal and you know. Like a Dallas Stargate or something. Anyway, just bear with me. Bring that dehaze up just a touch. You know, I cut out the uh, the ocean air. Now, from here, oh, don't want to do that. Uh, pretty much, the whites, the highlights in this, I just want to affect like the really bright whites, which is going to be the stars. So we're just going to crank that right up, just just right up. Bugger it. Bring the lights up just a little bit, and the blacks are pretty much black, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, a little bit there, just a little bit, and then from there, once I've done all of those edits, I'm just gonna tweak the color, just like, just a little bit. Just gonna bring that blue down, kind of like the blue in the sky. With my, with my Astro edits, I do use the brush tool quite a lot. Now, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna darken this area around the Milky Way. I'm just gonna bring it down. So you notice earlier on I brought the exposure up a, a little bit because I knew that I was gonna bring this bit down. You know, just, just, you know, just a little bit, just take the edge off. I'm gonna bring the clarity right down so that it's only, so it's, it's nice and soft on the, the areas away from the Milky Way. That's looking pretty good. Then from there, I'm gonna redo the brush tool and we're just gonna, just gonna t tweak the Milky Way a little bit there. Just gonna softly go over the whole thing. Just down, just a little bit. 
Now, I'm just going to show you what part I'm actually affecting there. So, like, it's just this section. And I'm going to do some really subtle edits on this, because otherwise it just, you can tell that it's the Milky Way is being edited. So I'm just going to warm it up a touch, just like, just a little bit, just to bring it out. There we go, there we go. And I'm going to bring the highlights up just a little bit, just to make it pop. I don't like what's happening at the bottom of it, but we can always erase that afterwards. Alright, now we're looking good. I'm going to bring that clarity up just a bit, and make it really, like, you know, crunchy looking. And the texture. Now, I don't really like what's happening down here, so I'm going to hit Alt and remove part of that brush. And just, you know, just, you know get rid of that just, just a little bit. Alright, let's, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Let's, let's add another little texture in, another little brush layer. But this part, we're just going to focus on, like, that, that, like, really internal parts of the Milky Way. Double click that, bring that warmth up a bit, and then we're gonna crank that clarity. Just just crank it, just, you know what, bugger it, let's just get into it. Bring the exposure up just a touch. Yeah. All right, let's see what we're, let's see what we're doing here. Now, I'm not one to edit photos like over the top, I kinda like, I kind of like to try and keep them as realistic as possible, but when you're shooting in RAW, it kind of just flattens everything. So you need to do these edits to you know, actually like bring it out, and make it punchy. I think that's looking it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I think they look pretty good. Nothing's over the top, no crazy edits, but just a general workflow to show you how I how I do things. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed filming it. Um, that was a bit of fun. I'm really kind of, I'm really enjoying this, you know, giving back to the community that gave me so much. Um, drop a comment below, let me know what you thought, how I could help you more, things I could do better for you, because, you know, this is why I'm doing it. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Yep. I'm going to turn you off.